Hey, Jimmy with Cuff and Stuff. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a shrimp po' boy sandwich. Now, this recipe started with my grandparents down on the uh, coastal regions of South Carolina. And it, I've been tweaking it just a little over the years. And so this is something that is a combination of what they did and what I do to make it. It's a little bit different than a lot of po' boys that you will see, but hang around. You're gonna try this one. It's easy to make and man, is it delicious. So hang tight. What I've got here is, this is two cups of flour, all right? Now, to the flour, I'm gonna add, this is just regular cornmeal. I'm gonna put about, mm, about a quarter cup, maybe just a little more in it, and then, Mix it in your flour. Now, what this is gonna do is this is just gonna add a little to the batter that we're gonna make. All right, to this mixture, okay? You know it was gonna get in here somewhere, right? This is where I'm gonna add my Uncle Steve shake. Now, this is Gator Shake. I love Gator Shake with a lot of stuff, but I particularly love it with seafood. This has got a little citrus pop to it that, oh my goodness, this is some good stuff. All right, let's stir it in and get it mixed in well, because I want the shrimp to get some. Oh, I can smell it already. Oof. Good stuff. Okay. Well, that's got our flour mixed up. Okay. Next is one of the most important steps in battering up the shrimp. Okay. What I've got, I've got four eggs, okay? I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take uh, half a cup, maybe, of our flour mixture, and I'm just gonna dump it in, and we're just gonna mix it. And as I said, this is gonna be kind of a batter mixture. Now, many, many, many years ago, I worked in a Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I never forgot the method they use for extra crispy chicken. And this is kinda sorta the way they do it, but let me get this mixed up, and there we have, you see it's, it's a, it's thick, but it's not just egg. This, this is a batter that we're gonna use. So now that we've got this done, um, let's move over to our shrimp. Okay, well, you see I've got my shrimp. Now this is about, I don't know, 35, 40 count which means there are that many in a pound. Um, I have already deveined them, um, not quite butterfly them. Um, the tails are removed um, and I rinsed them in warm water and then back in cool water for just a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about half of these. I don't want to do them all at one time. As I said, they've 
I've had them in water. They're a little bit damp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat these good in this flour mixture. And then I'm gonna take them and just drop them in this batter. And oh my goodness. <laughs> Already no. This is one of the meals that I make. It's, it's pretty quick and it's pretty easy to make, but oh my goodness. It's a good, uh, this is definitely in my top 10, probably my top five sandwiches. All right, so I'm gonna take and mix these up in this batter. And you see this is ooey gooey. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm going right back into this flour mixture, okay? And I wanna, I'm just shaking a little bit of it off. I don't want it globbed on it, but I want a good coating. And we can get these breaded up. Now, I'm gonna take, I have a wire rack sitting off and I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna use the other hand because I need a dry hand and a wet hand to do this. But I'm just gonna take and mix it up in this flour and get a good coating. Now you know, I when I was in high school, I told you I cooked chicken. This is exactly the way that extra crispy chicken did. All right, I'm gonna take it, shake it off a little bit, and I'm gonna put it on this wire rack over here. And yeah, you can see it. I wasn't, I wasn't sure whether I had it backed off enough where you could see the wire rack or not. But this is, I, I'm, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, this makes so much difference over just a straight egg wash for your batter on your shrimp that, and you see there's really there's nothing to it. This isn't complicated. Call Uncle Steve up, tell him you want some gator shake, put it in this flour, and then <laughs> mix it up like this oh my goodness all right here's the rest of my shrimp and take the dry hand and mix them up good and this you'd be amazed this works out just about right with the two cups um, this is tried and true trust me <laughs> you don't waste a whole lot of flour and cornmeal, but you have enough to do the job too. I can't stand to batter something up like this and then not have enough to finish and have to go back, of course, wash you and everything else <laughs> to make this up. All right, wet hand, let's batter him up. This is the rest, and now this is, as I said, this is one pound of shrimp. Um, I've got quite a few. This sandwich is gonna have more shrimp on it than, and, and I'm not sure, locally, you can't buy this sandwich. I, I don't know of anywhere that has a shrimp po' boy. Um, if anybody locally knows where you can get one, Especially if it's made like this, leave me a line in the comment because, as I said, I just I love a po' boy. It's it's a good sandwich. Um, now I have seen this done. A few people on keto that are doing this, I have seen this done with alternatives like almond flour and. Um, 
just using lettuce for the buns and that kind of stuff. But look, I figure it like this. I'm only going around one time and I know when I go, I'm going to heaven and I'm sure there's a poor boy up there with my name on it. But while I'm here, there's no reason I can't eat good. And I don't think shrimp's gonna shorten my time up here at all. Or any of this stuff. Maybe a lot of stuff I cook isn't the best in the world for you. But I don't think this will hurt you at all. Alright, let's see. I got a rack full of shrimp. And that's all of it. Okay, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take this entire rack of shrimp and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna let it sit in there for about 30 minutes, okay? And when I pull that back out, um, we're gonna get it ready and fry it up. But we got something else to do, so let me get cleaned up and I'll come back. Okay. Now we're gonna make our spread. We're gonna put on our bread, okay? Now, I have heard this called remoulade. This is a sauce that uh, I imagine comes from Louisiana. Um, I know it comes off of the coast. Um, it's really easy to make. You can, you can put whatever you want in it. This is the way I make it, okay? So first I'm gonna start with two thirds cup of mayonnaise. Now this is kupi or kupai, whichever you wanna call it. This is a Japanese mayonnaise. Um, the cooking cop and babe got me started on that. I am less than 30 minutes from the original Duke's mayonnaise factory and I know it's probably sacrilege for people that live in my area to use anything but that but I really like this mayonnaise. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two tablespoons of minced garlic. Now I'm taking a shortcut today. I'm, this is pre-minced. I don't want it, I don't want it huge. Um, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of Lee and Perrin's. I've gotten tickled people calling this W sauce. Worcestershire sauce. All right, um, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of hot sauce. Now, this is Texas peat. You use Texas peat, you use Tabasco, Frank's, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. All right, I'm gonna add a tablespoon, I'll tell you what I like horseradish, two tablespoons of horseradish. And this is again just prepared horseradish right off the grocery store shelf. And pepper. Need some black pepper in this. So let's put about a tablespoon of pepper. And guess what? That's it. Let's take it and mix this up. This is gonna be something the flavors are just gonna pop. And it is known, as I said, remoulade is what a lot of people call it. This is just a sort of a seafood sauce. Now you can use this, I'm gonna use this for uh, a dressing on the bread, but you can use it for like a salad dressing. You can use this for a dipping sauce. Save the recipe. This is good stuff, especially if you like spicy. So, 
Okay, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, and then when our shrimp gets ready, I'm gonna bring it out and we'll start cooking this up. Okay, well, we've let our shrimp rest in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and we've got our oil up to temp. Let's put some of these shrimp in the oil. Now I've got my oil up to 350, which is where I wanna cook. And as you see, I'm not gonna do a bunch at a time. I wanna keep them separated and it's just good stuff. That's just good stuff. We're gonna let them brown, nice golden brown. And we're gonna put them on the plate with the paper towel. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. This herd's in for a treat with these. They are delicious. Just keep them separated. Now, I want a light golden brown. I don't want to get too dark. And you got to watch your temperature on your grease. Because your grease can go too hot. That's about 360. That's still fine. That's good for me. Take these out. And I'm gonna put some more in. When we get all of these done, and I'll bring you back. Okay, it's time make the sandwiches and we're not going sparingly on the remoulade that goes on both sides of the bread just like this and it it actually is a good bit This remoulade just explodes with flavor, flavor, flavor. Okay, so we're gonna take our shrimp and let's see how much shrimp we can stack up on the one. Well, we got four on that one. Okay, to that, we gotta have some pickles. So let's add pickles. And couple of slices of tomato and I cut this up from a fresh head of iceberg lettuce and sandwiches it's just hard to beat iceberg hmm. it's also when the sandwich gets this big it's to keep everything on the sandwich. All right, so here's what we do. We gotta take and push this down on top of it. You know you gotta smush your sandwich. Just like this. A 
Okay. And folks, that is a pull boy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Only one thing left to do. And we're gonna have to try a bite of this. Well, okay. Here is my po' boy sandwich. I've been waiting on this one. As I say in most of my videos, my favorite part, here we go. Mm. Man, the flavors from that Remoulade just pops through. I can taste the gator shake. Man, that's good. I'm going back. Hmm. A shrimp po' boy sandwich. It's a summertime treat that you can't beat. <laughs> Sorry for the pun. Thanks for sticking around. As always, pick the circle over here if you haven't already. Subscribe, hit that like button so you don't miss anything. I'll have another video for you on this side. Until next time, hang tight.